Hey there everybody, this is Roy from Team Rank, and I'm here to watch Ruby Volume 3 Blu-ray Extras No Heroes in the End clip. And without further ado, let's watch. When we first kind of started talking about Ruby and started coming to the story, we always mm -hmm. knew that everything that happened in Volume 3 was going to be this kind of introductory arc. We really honestly wanted to get people used to the show and think, okay, yeah, you need an intro to that Sherry art, so they get Volume one good idea was something they're they wanted expecting. This kind of, every kid goes through this, starting a new thing, starting a new phase of their life, whether it's going to high school, going to college, whatever, you know, you I have start this first year university. of you know, uncertainty, and you, you want to try new things, but you're afraid at the same time. Yeah. That was something that we kind of wanted to try and capture in this moment. With Hi, Ruby. I'm Ruby Rose, 15, hails from Patch, leader of Team Ruby. Status. Questionable. Questionable. I feel like Ruby's goals whenever she first arrived at Beacon were and it, it, make Lizzie. friends be as normal as possible and just stay under the radar. She's very scared. She stay is under the radar is totally I can relate. Her older sister is very familiar with it, but Ruby is still new. This is exciting, but very, very strange to her. At the beginning of Volume 3, I feel like her goals have kind of shifted now. Definitely shifted. fleshing out her role as a team leader. Before, it was kind of her embracing that title anew and figuring out what that means to her. And now she has that position. She understands her relationship with her teammates. But now, how is she going to take that leadership and really make her team something new, something this school has never seen before? How are they going to take it to the next level? Because Team Ruby is all about, you know, trying to one-up and constantly exemplify the best person that you can be. Oh, I remember the scene. Wait for it. Penny yep. is a real tough one for her. Um, she hasn't really lost anyone major to her like that since her mom. She but now she's, she's lost Penny and Hera. can understand things a little bit better and has lost somebody that she really made a connection with. Yeah. Love. It almost Ruby really made a connection with Penny, so it's, still able it's to really heartbreaking for her to lose. Aside and say, you know, forgive about how I'm feeling. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised about that part. Thought she'd still be in shock. All of this ne horribly negative stuff that has just occurred around her. I mean, everything just fell <laughs> fell on her lap. Basically, a ton of responsibility is now in front of her, and she's ready for that challenge but it must be incredibly scary for her i feel like at this point it's just her desperately trying to put back together what has broken apart yeah trying to put back the pieces together and okay um that was really informative and i really like the thoughts that carrie and Lindsay put in this video and also what was i was gonna mention all right um Stay tuned for the next video that I'm going to be watching because I'm going to be talking about at the, at the end of the video, at the end, words, at the end of the next video I'm going to be talking about Ruby Chibi. And without further ado, see ya.